David Bourne here of Nonpartisan Liberty for All Media and Radio Network. You can check us out at nonpartisanlibertyforall.com. I really didn't want to do a video on my phone. I wanted to wait till I actually do have the equipment. You know, I have a video camera, but I wanted to wait till I had that set up and at least gave a better uh, quality video than what I'm about to give now, but uh, I figured, what the fuck. So, I'm looking through television shows because I find some good series here and there, and usually, not usually, always it's it's a, a cable or a non, um, it's never like one of the local well, not local, but national channels, uh, national networks like Fox or CBS or NBC. But occasionally you'll find a good show on HBO or Netflix or even uh, Amazon Prime. But one of the things that I don't see and I want to see and I'm tired of because there's so many fucking cop shows. Every show has, I mean... What percentage of shows, and this this is would be a curious thing to find out, uh, or a curious and interesting thing to uh, study, is what percentage of shows are cop shows that show the cops in a positive light, which almost all the shows that show cops show them in a positive light. Sometimes there'll be characters that aren't in a positive light, but in general, overall, the show uh, shows the police in a positive light. But what I'd like to see with all these fucking cop shows is I'd like to see now, with all the oppression that's going on, a show about a resistance and people fighting back. Any type of show or movie, and I, I don't know if... Uh, there's been a couple shows like that, like V, um, Colony, but it's always against aliens and it's always a metaphor. I mean, it is a metaphor for that. But I want to see a show that takes place in current times based on current circumstances where people are defending themselves against the oppression that's going on. But you don't see that. And what's fucked up, even more fucked up, is you know how many TV series you have now? You have... Netflix, you have Amazon Prime doing shows, you have, uh, what, Roku, do they do their own fucking show? I mean, there's, there's all these new, uh, I don't even know what you'd call them, the services or TV uh, subscriptions or whatnot. Even YouTube, um, there's YouTube shows as well, there was a fucking YouTube movie, so which actually did uh, have that type of uh, theme, to be honest. Although, you know, I think it was uh, in the future. But you see all these cops and these cop buddy shows, and th this is the most common show. And I've talked about this on my radio show: is that you have the cops that to catch the you know, evil drug dealer who, of course, you know, all drug dealers are evil and they're, it's like they're taking the drugs and, and, and injecting them into people or something, you would think, and they're murdering people and all drug dealers are big cartel, part of big cartels or something, you would think from watching fucking TV. And the cops have to break the law in order to catch them because they have these great lawyers and the system is set up to be benefit these people, which is bullshit. It's totally the opposite. The system is set up to benefit the government and screw over everybody else. So with all these stations uh, and different services and hundreds of fucking television shows, Netflix has gone crazy with the amount they have. And I don't mean crazy like they're crazy for doing it. I mean, it's fine uh, that they've provided another service where they're doing all these shows, and some of them are really entertaining shows, especially some of the Marvel ones, even though they're not freedom-oriented per se. Some of them are even the opposite, or uh, I would put, 
you know, don't really lean one way or the other. Um, but if you look at TV shows and really analyze them for things like that, you you can find that they're all pro-government in some aspect or in some respect or have some type of pro-government agenda, even if it's small or if it's subtle. But no, I want to see a show like that where the police are the bad guys and the people are fighting back against the police and it not being some science fiction show it being based on what's going on now and the oppression that we're facing now but we're not going to see that of course because we know that who controls the media media is all government based and it's not just the news it's it's everything so it's something I was just thinking about as I was looking through shows to watch and I wanted to voice my opinion about. So thanks for uh, taking the time to watch my video, uh, listen to the radio show. Uh, we've been kind of off schedule um, and been off the past couple weeks, but the live stream is 24 hours a day so we're always streaming something uh, usually old shows and the show is supposed to be on tuesday wednesday thursday at 6 p.m pacific 9 p.m eastern and you can get all the information uh, on our show uh original articles and where you can uh find everything our social media pages and all that at nonpartisanlibertyforall.com so Thanks, everybody.